Nigerian government alleged use of Namdi Kano as a pawn against Igbo people. Hmm. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, I beg subscribe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. The Methodist Archbishop of Okigwe Agdausis, Most Reverend Livinis uh, Onoha, has brought to a light a claim that the federal government of Nigeria is leveraging the detainment of Namdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, as a strategic move against the Igbo people. This statement was made during the Archbishop's address at the 43rd Annual um, Diocesan Synod of the Methodist Church of Okigwe for 2024, held at the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity, Okigwe State. Onoha emphasized that the Nigerian government's intention is to provoke a strong reaction from the Igbo community by using Kano's detention as a catalyst. The strategy, according to the Archbishop, aims to polarize the Igbo population, positioning them as targets of the ruling party. The Archbishop further expressed his disappointment in the, the collusion between the executive and judiciary arms of the government which he believes is perpetuating Kano's detainment to incite unrest among the Igbo people. In light of these allegations, Onoha called upon the Igbo community to remain calm and held to the principles of law and order, reiterating that peace is the ultimate solution to overcoming these challenges. Onoha's comment come in the wake of his successful eye surgery and his renewed focus on the issue of Kano's incarceration. He highlighted the judiciary's inability to exercise its independence, citing instances where judiciary rulings, rulings in favor of Kano have been disregarded by the executive uh, uh, bench or branch, thus effectively silencing the judiciary on this matter. As the situation surrounding Nambi Kano's detention continues to unfold, the Nigerian government faces growing a screen over the, the testament of Kano and his implications for the border Igbo community. The allegations of using Kano as a prom against the Igbo people have sparked widespread concern and debate within Nigeria and beyond, with many calling for a peaceful resolution to the ongoing crisis. Well, Nigerians are calling for political resolution on Mazen Namdi Kano's case. But with what is going on, it is obvious that the Nigerian government is not ready to release him. Yes, with their body languages, you can understand that Namdi Kano will not be released by Nigerian government. But I don't think that is the right thing to do. You understand? Nigerians have been calling out. People don't cry. People don't talk. People don't so beg. You understand? That Namdi Kano should be released. This is just not just Mazen Namdi Kano's uh, issue again. It's now uh, for the peace in the southeast region. It's important because these people do no longer sleep again with their two eyes closed. You understand? You don't know what is going to happen you know, in the next moment. Recall that the last time Namdi Kano appeared in court, he said something. He said, see, what is going on in the South is, uh, is going on because I am not around. And it seems that uh, he said some persons have been paid. You understand? He said uh, some governments, it's like some government uh, uh, officials are using this to make money in the South East. They are using me to make money. You get, they are using me to make money in the name of protesting for uh, uh, Mazen Namdi Kanu's release. That is Kanu's release. He says, see, 
let me tell you, I bet you he's not making math. Once I'm here, I'm telling you, within two minutes, all this madness in his words, he said to stop within two minutes. So for him to say that, that means he himself is ready to make peace. So why would somebody think that if he's released, more wahala, you know, we, 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 we cover or we take over Southeast? Well, now the cannons release we, means a big deal to the Southeasterners, make we tell ourselves the truth. And uh, just like what their leaders are saying, that uh, Mazen and the Canons release, we eventually, you know, calm down all the Wahalas that is, you know, uh, going on currently in the Southeast. But why can't the federal government of Nigeria just at least give that a, te- a second thought? At least for the sake of peace. You know, say they talk, say, if you won't enter ocean, now one step, now you take the, take the go. You go first of all put one step and the other, small, 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 before you go enter. You understand? Let them be released first. And every other thing, you know, will be settled. What are the every other things? The, the, the hyper agitators are talking about Biafra nation. If Nigerian government do not want them to leave Nigeria, it can as well be, you know, talked about. You give them the reason why they should stay. You people, you sit down in a roundtable talk and you, and you dialogue, you talk. That is life. You understand? You just talk about it. Not be fight. Anything when they, they use fight, they do. You know, they end well. Now, true be that. So, guys, what's your take about what the Archbishop have just said? I bet make me hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on now. Thank you.